Hi, I'm Karma Shammas. I'm your astrologer. Today I'll be talking about Sunday, the 15th of December. Uh, the moon will be in Leo today at 4 a.m. Uh, universal time, Greenwich Mean Time, uh, which means everybody is listening. Everybody listening to me, they will enjoy the effects of the moon in Leo, which forms a trine with the Sun and Mercury, which are uh, in Sagittarius. So the best signs actually today should be uh, basically Aries, Sagittarius and Leo. So let's hear it for all the signs starting with Aries. It's one of a beautiful, one of the most beautiful days in this week and of course in the uh, month of December. You can actually do anything you want. You can actually have anything you want. You should actually try something. Don't be afraid. Don't be timid. Don't be shy. Just make a move. It's a beautiful day and it's very rewarding. Everybody can be lucky today, especially those born in the month of April. As for Taurus, Taurus, this can be a bit uh, uh, it's um, maybe you feel a little bit touchy maybe you're a little bit emotional maybe you're a little bit withdrawn you prefer to stay with people uh, accompanied by people you know which is okay it's not a negative day it's just like you may prefer some privacy uh, in all cases uh, today Taurus um, you have to um, keep your mood stable because you have the um, the opportunity to enjoy a beautiful family time. Uh, this is on one side. On the other side, it can be also, um, it can be a, a long day. Um, maybe you'll be busy uh, doing so many chores. And if you go out, you make sure you have all your documents, papers, ID with you. The um, Let me see. The luckiest are those born between the 10th and 13th on 13th of May. Um, and those who should um, watch out uh, are those born on the 23rd or the 24th of April. Moving on to Gemini, it's a long busy day, very long, very busy day actually. Um, you will be talking all the time, on the phone all the time, commuting all the time, driving all the time, writing, studying, um, uh, everywhere. You, uh, you may even spread yourself so thin and this is what you have to be careful of. You may even be misunderstood. So it's a very tricky day. You have all this energy. You need to channel it well. You have to concentrate. So uh, in order not to feel overwhelmed and in order not to feel actually um, thin, you know, like your energy depleted, uh, especially if you were born on the 13th or the 14th of June. Moving on to cancer. Cancer, this can be a nice day, although I think there may be some extra expenses. There may be some extra things that you have to give and offer to others, which may be related to helping others, giving favors back, and maybe uh, it can have it can be related to money. So in all cases, you also have to look out for your health and pay attention to any signs um uh, flaring out so pamper yourself it's okay the uh, the luckiest are those born on the 22nd 23rd of june but the most tired are those born between the 11th and the 15th of uh, july let's move on to uh, leo with the moon in your sign everything seems to be perfect you seem to be doing perfectly well and you seem to be one of the strongest and the most lucky signs today um, with your sign trining with the Sun and Mercury, it seems as if uh, everything seems to be easy. Everything seems to come to you just by the mere thinking of it. So uh, this is a beautiful day. This is a perfect day if you want to resolve an issue with your partner, with your kids, with your parents, even with your boss. Today is a good day to reach out to others because today has a finality. Today is very uh, um, uh, it's very, uh, let me see, it's, it resolves issues and nothing is pending in this day and things, this day is quite decisive. So nothing will be pending for longer than tomorrow. So um, get moving. It's a beautiful day. Those creative ideas, those brilliant ideas you get, you should really trust them and give them a second thought. Um, everybody is lucky, especially those born uh, in the month of uh, July. 
and those born also on the 15th, 16th of August. Let's move on to Virgo. Virgo, this is a slow day. It's one of the um, uh, slowest days in the week and in the month. Uh, it's a day to dedicate it to only to easy things, easy chores, just sleep it off, um, stay um, at your comfort zone, uh, don't experiment, don't risk things, um, take it easy, stick to routine, don't put an effort. This is unless you have things to do, then in this case you would need plan B and, would you, and you would need people around you with some good luck. You would need then people with good luck to help you out. The luckiest in spite of this all are those born between the 24th and 28th of August and those born on the 12th, between the 12th and the 16th of September. Okay, so let's move on to Libra. Libra, this is a nice uh, cooperating day and you can be actually very popular. Today is a beautiful day if you want to lobby around, if you want to ask for help. I always use the word lobby because life needs lobbying. This is what I believe. This is what life has taught me that you have to lobby around. I have been around different people, different cultures, been to di in difficult situations and lobbying around will help you. Not only now, it will help you later on. So. Today, Libra, this is the best day. This is the day to do just that. And you can start with lobbying with your friends, with your family, with your relatives, with your neighbors, uh, with your colleagues. This is what you have to do. This is a beautiful day. You can get anything done joining efforts. The luckiest are those born between the 24th and the 27th of September. Let's move on to Scorpio. Scorpio, this is a demanding day. It's not an easy Sunday. So whatever you have to do, you have to plan it well and you have to make sure that uh, the, your way back is secure and safe. This is a good day if you want to plan on something and you really need actually to be well prepared. So if you think that you can go just like that, unprepared, it will be a disaster. It will be a total disaster. So be ready and do it. Otherwise, pick another day. Um, you have to be careful if you were born on the uh, on the 9th, 10th, 11th of um, November. Moving on to Sagittarius. Sagittarius, it's uh, it's a perfect day. It's one of those really super perfect days. There's nothing wrong astrologically with this day. Everything is perfect. Uh, Mercury on your side. It helps you to move on. Everything seems to move fast, which is great if you have negotiations going on, if you have uh, something to work on, because your mind seems to be moving also very fast. So this is a nice day for um, uh, Sagittarius. Actually, it's, uh, it's a marvelous day. It's one of the most beautiful days in the month of uh, December. So go ahead and experiment, go ahead and be daring, go ahead and do something. Don't sit still crossing your arms, your hands. The most active are those born in the month of uh, November. Let's move on to Capricorn. Capricorn, this is uh, today actually is better than the past two days. Today is a day that will help you um, figure it out, will help you uh, discover or actually point out what went wrong in the past two days. You may even um, um, realize that some friends are not really true friends. So it will give you a chance to amend things. It will give you a chance to uh, reevaluate things and it will give you a chance to uh, make a move. Maybe you will need to pay some dues. So everything is possible today. In all cases, take it easy. Don't overwhelm yourself, especially if you were born between the 9th and the 12th and 13th of January. Moving on to Aquarius. Aquarius, this day may present some obstacles or something wrong or something different. So in order to uh, move on uh, with this day, you have to be flexible and you have to flex with things going on. So if you just want to be, to be like a trunk of a tree and moving in the, in the river, you just need to be flexible in order to flow easily down, um, 
or whatever. So in all cases, uh, don't invent problems. Uh, don't make it any worse. Just flow it, flow with it. Be flexible. Enjoy whatever happens. If they are against you, your opinion, just smile and said, okay, let's try out your idea. So give them a second chance. And this way you will protect yourself from bigger oppositions. The, um, the most tired are those born in the month of January. As for Pisces, Pisces, uh, this is uh, an okay kind of day, but this kind of day is a very, 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 very long day. It can deplete actually your, uh, your energy. It can deplete your thoughts. It can deplete your temper, your patience. So it's a very long day, especially if you have kids, if you have responsibilities, if you have to be standing on your feet all day long, this is a very demanding day. And don't say, I did not tell you. And I'm already telling you that today is definitely better than Tuesday and Wednesday. So here you are and don't say, I didn't tell you. Plan well, do whatever uh, needs to be done today. Do it and try not to accumulate or bring or create more problems. You don't need that. You will not need that definitely in the coming few days. So look after your health and do whatever you have to do. Ask people to help you and to be on your side. Everybody can be tired today, um, especially those born in the month of February. So this is it for Sunday, the 15th of December. I wish you all a great day and see you tomorrow. Bye bye.